My name is Clay Newcomb and I'm the publisher of Bear Hunting Magazine. This week we're going to be rendering down some bear fat and talking about what you can do with the oil. We've got the September-October issue of the magazine that's in the hands of subscribers now. We've also got a new hat, Make Bear Hunting Great Again in Camo. Jed, life is really complex. But it seems as if the climate of this country is becoming so polarizing that people are able to categorize people as one thing or another. Look at me. I kind of feel the same thing kind of coming over the global headquarters. I either see people as a subscriber to the magazine or not. There's basically now two types of people. Do you think that's fair? but they could use the code BHM20 at checkout to get $5 off a subscription. That subscription code is JED approved. We just got back this week from a fall bear hunt in Manitoba. Bear fat used to be a highly valued commodity back in the day. It can be rendered down into oil that can be used for fuel, for burning lamps, it can be used for cooking, it's used in pastries, it can be used to forecast the weather. So there's lots of folklore that's around bear fat. We're gonna harvest the fillets, the big back fat, rump fat off of this bear, take it back to Arkansas, and render it down into some oil. We just got back from Manitoba. We harvested some fat off a big old fat fall bear. I've got about roughly 12 pounds of fat here. What we're going to do is we're going to render this down to oil. The first step is going to be to cube it into small cubes that we're going to put in the fry daddy. It is best for cubing and working with if the fat is almost thawed but not quite. It cuts really nice and clean. As you can see this fat has been out of the freezer for about three hours but it cuts super clean. If it's hot, it'll be kind of gooey and more messy. Primary reasons that bear fat was such a commodity in early American history was because that it would stay good for longer periods of time than pork fat. It was also readily available as the black bear was distributed almost entirely across North America and it is high in caloric content. It's a very good fat that stays stable. I have personally used bear fat that was a year and a half old that was still good after I rendered it down, left it on the windowsill, year and a half later opened it up and used it to cook with. Bear fat can be used in pastries, it can be used for cooking, it can be used for frying, it can be used for preserving leather, it was used for lubricants on muzzle loading patches back in the day. It's also been known to cure baldness and you can forecast the weather off a clear jar of bear oil and a south facing window. Once the fryer is hot, begin to put in the cubes of fat. It's important to stir the fat when you initially put it in to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. I use the bear bacula bone to stir this fat. We're starting to get some good liquid in there now. Oh, I wish you could smell it. After 18 minutes, 75% of the fat had rendered into oil. I strained the remaining floaters to make some cracklings without this any is skin. Most of what it's going to be rendered down, and I'm just pouring out these little cracklings. And I'm going to save these cracklings. I'm going to salt and pepper them. This is just pure calories. Man, this is good. It almost tastes like french fries. Wow. Willow, you gotta try one. After tasting the cracklings, I let the oil cool for about 30 to 45 minutes, then poured it through a metal strainer into glass jars. I like to pour the oil into decorative jars that can be put on oh, display yeah. before it's use. Really beautiful. Now I'm just gonna close these lids. 
As the oil cools, the solids will settle to the bottom. I've had some oil that rendered into almost 100% amber liquid and other batches that were almost solid and opaque at room temperature. I'm not sure why the disparity, but both are good for cooking. Thanks for joining the conservation this week at the Bear Hunting Magazine Global Headquarters. As bear hunters, it's important that we learn to utilize all the commodities of this animal that we cherish and respect and love to hunt so much. Keep the wild places wild, because that's where the bears live. And don't forget about the hat. No God-fearing bear hunter has ever been to Hobby Lobby, but you know what? We're pioneers in the outdoor world, and I'm going to do it. What I'm after is some decorative jars for my bear grease because we're going we're gonna to take it to the next level. We're up in our game as bear hunters. Not a bear hunter in sight. It smells like potpourri in here. Oh, this is classy. Bear paw toilet paper holder. Really, Hobby Lobby? It's September the 4th. Little seal top jars. Oh yeah.